Good morning to you all. Welcome to BA third semester. So, during third semester, I would like to teach you history of British literature part one. So, this is the book, history of British literature part one. It contains the beginning of English literature or British literature up to the Restoration Age or Puritan Age. The remaining parts you will have to study in other semesters. Anyhow, uh, you will have to study up to Modern Age. The social background, the most important writers and their works we have to study. So this is the book, all of you must necessarily buy a copy of it at the earliest. It is available at the leading bookshops. Okay, let us begin with a, a brief history of English literature. A brief history of British literature. We British literature. Sangreham British literature Engani Undai, either very Engani, either no, no, the Dirichari Sangreham. We are going to study everything in a nutshell, or naturally number of the Manislak and the Wodno. Other matra. So let us begin. The original inhabitants of Britain were probably Iberians. The original inhabitants of Britain were probably Iberians. Iberians coming from Spain. Britain le Adyate Adhivasigal. Adyam Britain Keda Kiran Adigal Iberian Sairno. Out of the Adima Damaskara Iberian Sairno. Spain Lunar. Spain no Nalayan. But we have no historic records about them actually. We have no historic records about the Mavere Kurche Charitra Rekhad on the Lefimala. The Kels, C E L T S, Kels, came later. Iberians read in your Britain, Thamas or Pacha, the Tar or the Celtic Lightning. Celtic. They spoke a Celtic language. The, la the language which was brought by them was Celtic language. They used the Celtic language. They spoke a Celtic language. Our revenge in the language is Celtic language. It was during the Celtic period that Julius Caesar, the Roman Emperor, Julius Caesar invaded Britain. He Celtic and Britain and Thomas or Pichan, Canada, Viana. Roman Chakravarti, Julius Caesar, Britain, Akramashir. It was in 55 BC, Ambatanji BC, I know. It was in 55 BC that Julius Caesar invaded Britain. And now, Britain and the Arms were there. The were there. Kels were there in Britain. They were defeated by Caesar. Caesar refers to this invasion in his book Gallic Wars. G A L L I C Gallic Wars. Caesar is the only person who has a book on the Yutate Kurjavaramsigina. Kettigale Akramicha, each Eritram Pradivadik in the Pustat and the Bear and a Gallic Wars. Other day the Caesar and Caesar Yakranum, Gallic Wars and the Hathen of Sadil. At the end of the Pustadil, so you begin under. See, by the way, Caesar's book was the first historical record of the country. Britain de Adyata Charitra Granto Dorangari in the Caesar de Gandhi Kuar Sana. By the way, Caesar's book was the first historical record of the country. Then we come the rule by Romans. The rule by Romans is called Romantic Rule. Romantic Rule. It is nothing to do with the Romantic Age. It is romantic rule or rule by Romans. Roma card rule. Caesarum Roma card naid no other initiation. Caesar a poet initiation, Yadil Windum Roma carre, Britain Ladi with his tabigin. About a century, hundred years after Caesar's invasion, the Romans again invaded. 
and occupied Britain. Britain very much to La Salamana, fertile country on the Manasa like it. Caesar Akramito, Caesar Boy, a Caesar and Akramatin would not turn the editor. Windham Roma carried Britain Akramachi Gridaki, they occupied Britain. It was in forty three AD. BC again a mari ADI. It was in forty three AD. Namakariam, Caesar and Britain Akramachi like the Ambatanji BC. I don't know the Nutan Asian Apathy on the AD. Again, Romans invaded and occupied Britain in forty three AD. The Roman rule of Britain lasted till four hundred and ten AD. The Roma carried a Britain for an ayah and nine eighty path the AD. The Roman rule of Britain lasted till 410 AD. The Romans built the city of Lendinium. There it became London. The Romans built the city of Lendinium. That is our London. And made a network of roads connecting the capital city with other towns. Lendinium, Lamda Renda, Lendinium, Matuvala Stalangal, my connecting in the road, there is a network. They made a network also. Network. The Romans built the city of Lendi, who built the city of Lendinium? Romans. And made a network of roads connecting the capital city with all major towns in Britain. Then an important event to the Anglo Saxon conquest. Anglo Saxons, Angles and Jews and Saxons, Averiverino, a North and European Averiverino, Akramichigatakum, Angles, Jews and Saxons, they are Anglo Saxons. Anglo Saxon conquest. A Roma carriage and Apathy Moon, Edi Mother Fenichu, Korea or Sangalgesh, Munanari, the Utah Decession, Roman Civit Drew. They went away, the Romans withdrew in 410 AD, 90 AD. Because of troubles at home, Rome was a president, Rome was a civil war, because of the troubles at home, Romans had to withdrew in the year 410 AD. 90 AD, Rome was a president. 410 AD. 10 AD because of troubles at home. In 499 AD, the Anglo Saxon conquest started. Nanuti Tunu Tumba the AD, Nanuti Tunu Tumba the AD, the year 499 AD, the Anglo Saxon conquest started. Yan Nathan or Anglesum, Judesum, Saxonsum. Say, where do they, where did they come from? They came from. Northern Europe. They were three races of people. Our Akramachu Nani to Tonu Tumba the Edil in 499 AD, the Anglo Saxon conquest started. Three races of people, three races of people from Northern Europe, as I told you earlier, from Northern Europe. Northern Europe, what can Europe in the moon work a carrier? Jews, Angles, and Saxons. Remember these three races? Jews, Angles, and Saxons occupied Britain. They came, invaded, and occupied Britain. But now the Celtic on the Roma carrier, the Nanitipa, the Edi, the Adresham Celtic on the other on the other on the other on the Paichu. They were driven out of the place. The Celts were pushed towards the Mountainous regions of Wales and Scotland. Pound Celtic, Parvata Nerevala, Sampanna Maya, Wales Lake, Scotland Lake, Mahati Paich. Who? Anglo Saxons, Angles, Jews and Saxons. The Celts were pushed towards the mountainous areas or regions of Wales and Scotland. Namukariyam, Britain or another. England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. In Ireland, the jungle chair in the Dana Low Britain. England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. 
അപ്പൊ സ്കോട്ട്ലൻഡും വെയിൽസും മൗണ്ടനസ് ഏറിയസ് ആണ് അങ്ങോട്ട് അവരെ പായിച്ചു അവർക്ക് അവിടെ സുരക്ഷിതമായി കഴിയാനുള്ള സാഹചര്യം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു കെൽറ്റുകൾക്ക് കെൽറ്റുകളെ ഈ മൗണ്ടനസ് റീജിയൻസിലേക്ക് ഡ്രൈവ് ഔട്ട് ചെയ്തത് ആരാണ് ആംഗ്ലോ സാക്സൺസ് ആംഗ്ലോ ജൂഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് സാക്സൺസ് കമ്മിങ് ഫ്രം നോർത്ത് ഏൺ യൂറോപ്പ് അവരായിരുന്നു ദ ഫെർട്ടൈൽ റീജിയൻ നോ നോണാസ് ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട് ദി വെരി ഫെർട്ടൈൽ റീജിയൻ ദി വെരി ഫെർട്ടൈൽ റീ ഏറിയ വിച്ച് വാസ് നോണാസ് ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട് വിച്ച് വാസ് നോ നോണാസ് ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട് വാസ് ഓക്യൂപ്പൈഡ് ബൈ ദി ആംഗ്ലോ സാക്സൺ പീപ്പിൾ അപ്പം ഏറ്റവും നല്ല ഫലപുഷ്ടിയുള്ള ആ പ്രദേശമായ ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട് ആംഗ്ലോ സാക്സൺ സൈഡിലായി ദ വേഡ്സ് ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് രണ്ട് വാക്കുകൾ ഇംഗ്ലണ്ടും ഇംഗ്ലീഷും കെയിം ഫ്രം ആംഗിൾസ് ഈ മൂന്ന് റേസസിൽ ആംഗിൾസിൽ നിന്നാണ് ആംഗിൾസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന വംശജരയുടെ സംഭാവനയാണ് ദയർ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ഈസ് ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ദ വേൾഡ്സ് ഇംഗ്ലണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് കെയിം ഫ്രം ആംഗിൾസ് ആംഗിൾസിൽ നിന്നാണ് ഉണ്ടായത് ആംഗ്ലോ സാക്സൺ ലിറ്ററേച്ചർ ദ ലിറ്ററേച്ചർ of anglo saxon races angles jutes and saxons the anglo saxons were pagans pagans means those who believed in natural powers prakriti shaktigalil visusichirunna aalukal ayirunnu anglo saxons anglo saxons were pagans pagan believers old believers who believed in natural powers uh, which they did not understand well അവർക്ക് വ്യക്തമായിട്ട് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ കഴിയാത്ത പ്രകൃതി ശക്തി ഇടിയും മിന്നലും കാറ്റും പേമാരി ഇതിനെയൊക്കെയാണ് അവർ ആരാധിച്ചിരുന്നത് ദി ഫേസ്റ്റ് ആംഗ്ലോ സാക്സൺ പോയം വാസ് വിഡ്സിത് റിമംബർ ദിനയം ഡബ്ല്യു ഐ ഡി എസ് ഐ ടി എച്ച് വിഡ്സിത് ദി ഫേസ്റ്റ് ആംഗ്ലോ സാക്സൺ പോയം ഈ ആംഗ്ലോ ആംഗ്ലോ സാക്സൺ പീരീഡിലെ ആദ്യത്തെ കവിത വിഡ്സിത്ത് ആയിരുന്നു The first Anglo-Saxon poem was Vidsit. It was a catalog poem mentioning the places visited by a traveler. One Sanjari, Sandra Sitcha Stalangal Devri list, catalog a list. Stalangal Devri list, I don't know where I am, I don't know where I am. It is a list of places visited by a traveler. Vidsit is a poem mentioning the places visited by a traveler. Vidsit is a poem containing the names of places visited by a traveler the greatest anglo saxon poem was bio wolf bio wolf the greatest anglo saxon poem rober which is the greatest anglo saxon poem ee anglo saxon kalayadathil ettum prasasthamaya mahathaya kavitha bio wolf B O W U L F B O Wolf B O Wolf it was an epic idoru itihasa rupathilulla tharala lines ulla oru kavithe irunnathu it was an epic running in about uh, it was an epic running to about uh, 3200 lines ah uh, 3200 lines mo edaand 3200 lines ulla oru epic aayirunnathu It was an epic running in about 3,200 lines. It deals with... What is the theme of the poem, Beowulf? What is the content of the poem, Beowulf? It deals with the adventures of a Germanic hero. One Germanic hero. I have the adventures on the other side. It deals with the adventures of a... ജേർമാനിക് ഹീറോ ദി പോയം മെൻസ് വിത്ത് ദ ഡെത്ത് ഓഫ് ദി ഹീറോ ബി യു വുൾഫ് ദി പോയം മെൻസ് വിത്ത് ദ ഡെത്ത് ഓഫ് ദി ഹീറോ ബി യു വുൾഫ് ബി യു വുൾഫ് ഇസ് ദ നൈം ഓഫ് ദി ഹീറോ ആൻഡ് വെൻ ദി പോയം മെൻസ് ഹി ഓൾസോ ഡൈസ് കവിത അവസാനിക്കുമ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ നായകനും മരിക്കുന്നു അങ്ങനെയായിരുന്നു പ്രതിപാദനം ദറ്റ് ഈസ് വട്ട് ഈസ് ബി യു വുൾഫ് ബി യു വുൾഫ് ദെൻ കൺവേർഷൻ ടു ക്രിസ്ത്യാനിറ്റി അതുകൊണ്ട് ഈ കാലഘട്ടത്തിൽ ക്രിസ്ത്യാനിറ്റിയുടെ കടന്നുകയറ്റം ഇംഗ്ലണ്ടിലേക്ക് ക്രിസ്ത്യാനിറ്റിയുടെ ക്രിസ്തു മതത്തിൻ്റെ കടന്നുകയറ്റം ആളുകളെ ആംഗ്ലോ സാക്സൺസിനെ ക്രിസ്ത്യാനിറ്റിയിലേക്ക് കൺവേർട്ട് ചെയ്ത ആ സംഭവം ഇറ്റ് വാസ് പോപ്പ് ഗിരിഗറി റോംബർ 
Marpapa Grigori, it was Pope Grigori who was responsible for converting the Anglo Saxon into Christianity. The Anglo Saxon races in England occupy the Anglo Saxon races in Christianity like a converted in the Prathana Uttaravadi are no Pope Grigory. It was Pope Grigory who was responsible for converting the Anglo Saxons into Christianity. He sent 40 missionaries under the leadership of Augustine for this work. Augustine de Totele, Augustine de Nether Totele, Nalpa missionaries in a mother Pradaregre, Betelege, Ju Pope Gregory. He sent 40 missionaries under the leadership of Augustine for the work of. Conversion to Christianity or converting the Anglo Saxons into Christianity. Christianity brought many new words into English. Christianity brought many new words into English. Madhavaramaya Pala Padangalam English language like Kadamdavan. Christianity brought new words into English. Mostly connected with the religion. Most of the words were connected with the religion. Mikhe Badangalam Madhumai Bandha Pattadayirun. The first important Christian poem in England was The first important Christian poem in English was or in England was The Dream of the Rude the dream of the rude. Rude means cross Kurishanartha. Dream of the rude. So it is about the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Adi Esi Krishu in the crucifixion Kurchaidano. Ade then the Mahataya Kurishilatal. Adne Kurchaidano. The dream of the rude. The dream of the rude. Adairano. Adyate Christia Gainam, Alangil Christia Gavida. The first important Christian poem in England was The Dream of the Rude. The Dream of the Rude. In the Adela Pradivadim, what is the content? What is the theme of the poem? It depicts the cross in which Christ was crucified. It depicts or pictures the cross. On which Christ was crucified. Yes, Christ was crucified. Kurishine Kurchana de Pradivadikin. That's the dream of the world. It depicts the cross on which Christ was crucified. Remembering the moments of glory. And the poem uh, especially remembers the moments of glory when Christ was crucified. Mahataya Nimishangala. Mahataya. Mahatut and the Nimishangal, remember a dream of the Rudan or in the Gavide Rude. In either the Maka Markam Batata, Uripeana, the Venerable Bead, Urisain, the Priest, the Venerable, Respectable, Reverend Bead, 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 Bead. A day in the day they could say Maka Pratech, but he can under British literature. The Venerable Bead, the Saint Breed, published the book Ecclesiastical History in Latin. Ecclesiastical History, Religious History, Madhavaramaya Charitram, Ecclesiastical History, Church in the Charitram, Allegal Madhavaramaya Charitram, Latin language. It was published in Latin language. First, what was the name of the book written by Venerable Bede? Ecclesiastical history, ecclesiastical history, religious history, or church history in Latin. It described the coming of Christianity in England. Do you know this book? Ecclesiastical history described or dealt with the coming of Christianity in England. England is Christmas of Manodhani Kuruchanadila Pradivadhyam. It described or depicted or pictured or dealt with the coming of Christianity in New England. 
the book was later translated into English. Pinnied the book English like a translated. The Anglo-Saxon period is the name of the Anglo-Saxon period. That is none other than King Alfred. King Alfred. King Alfred. Wessex is the king of the Anglo-Saxon period. Wessex is the king of the Anglo-Saxon period. The king of the Anglo-Saxon period is the king of the Anglo-Saxon period. Wessex. Vesaksila Raja Vairno King Alfred, King Alfred. He was the greatest of Anglo-Saxon kings. Undoubtedly we can say that. He was the greatest of Anglo-Saxon kings. Anglo-Saxon kings led to Mahanaya Raja Vairno King Alfred. He compiled the book. Adehatinde Saharnathalari Pustakam Tayaraki. Tayaraki Norja Adi Gura Fala Dehadi. Baki korai faham scholars ini orang cerdik bicara tu orang nak kambil dah tamat orang. He kambil the book Anglo Saxon Chronicle. Pasal ini tu perih nama le who is the author of Anglo Saxon Chronicle ni orang cerdik the answer is King Alfred. Macam ni lah sahaya orang dah itu orang kelim King Alfred ni dia berada nama le itu berada itu. He kambil the book Anglo Saxon Chronicle. Chronicle means history. Chronicle history, Anglo-Saxon history. Anglo-Saxon Chronicle was the name or title of the book compiled by him. It dealt with the story of Anglo-Saxons in England. You know the book, the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle dealt with the Anglo-Saxon story of the Anglo-Saxons in England. England is Anglo-Saxons and the Cathay. It was the first important prose work in English. We should remember that Anglo-Saxon Chronicle Anglo-Saxon Chronicle compiled by King Alfred was the first important prose work in English. English language pradhana pata prose work kada irinu. Part of the book was written by King Alfred. The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle da jyana erithya suhi pijol part of this book was written by King Alfred of Essex and they are rest by other scholars. Baki ulla faag rejitya the matte scholars are. Nalim this book is known by King Alfred. King Alfred in the veil lariya padanu the book. Adhita faagam, kore faagam, King Alfred did the and the rest by the scholars. Because of this book, because of this book, Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, King Alfred came to be known as the father of English prose. The father of English prose. The father of English poetry. You know, you know, the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle prose was written by major portion was compiled by written by King Alfred. So, King Alfred came to be called. He came to be known as father of English prose. Who is the father of English prose? King Alfred. King Alfred. Remember this. Remember these things. So, this is part one of the brief history of British literature.